Hi, Robin. Hey, Robin. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning to you. So now, since this is a spring break type film, what wild stories can you tell me about your spring break memories? <laughs> um, well, I never experienced spring break because I'm from England. But um, they when have I, spring break there? Uh, no, we don't have spring break there. We don't have Memorial Weekend or any of that stuff, ironically. But um, but during the filming, uh, we did have a Memorial Weekend, and I did stay around and participate, and um, yeah had a lot of glow sticks waving around and drunk a lot and um, partied a lot with a lot of crazy girls so i loved it it was fun uh, jerry i know you've had spring break yeah my college spring breaks were a lot like the one that uh, we play here in in pure hana 3d um except mine were in uh, cancun uh yeah ca like a lot in mexico cancun uh you know drinking tequila vomit diarrhea <laughs> Um, <laughs> drinking, um, sunburn, uh, <laughs> making out, or as they say in England, mashing. Were you mashing? Mashing? Isn't I've never say? heard that ever. <laughs> so did, did you Snogging. 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 Sorry, snogging. <laughs> did you just make mashing? <laughs> I did. Hey, there's a word. Mashing, baby. It. I'm going to mash with you. <laughs> <laughs> mashing. I love it. That's great. Now, tell me what was the most embarrassing images that came flying out to you guys of your own body parts? Um, well, I mean, <laughs> you got to see the movie, but it gets pretty embarrassing for me. Um, yeah, it's embarrassing. I have a whole underwater ballet scene where I'm not really wearing anything, and um, <laughs> and so uh, so that's quite. Um, it's embarrassing. For that's all quite of us. embarrassing, um, and it's in 3D as well. But I guess that could be appealing to some people. Not to my mom. Because some, there is so much online right now, Jerry, about the part of your anatomy that comes flying out into the audience. Right. Mm. right, yeah. The thing, yeah, the thing with the piranhas is they kind of always go for a particular characteristic which sums up the character that you're yeah. playing in the movie. That seems to be what they, they go for. So unfortunately for yeah. Jerry... It was actually really fun. You know, I've seen a little bit of it, and it... Uh, I, I shouldn't say that. I've seen a, a large chunk of it. And... Um, <laughs> It uh, and and it looks great. It's really funny, actually. How do you know? Do you guys know how much fake blood was actually used making this film? Oh, we should know that. We should I know. Think thousands and thousands of gallons, more than yeah. any other movie, or so they say. More know. than Kill Bill, and apparently that held the title. That held Piranha the 3D has broken records. <laughs> well, describe to me what that feels like to have that gook all over you. Um. Well, it's it's like a. Sweet, syrup. St sticky syrup, isn't it? Really, yeah. that's kind of what it is. Yeah, it's um, um, it's not pleasant, especially when it gets in your hair. Yeah, and I mean, you got to really scrub it off when you're in the shower. The worst part is when you're driving home and you're soaked in blood. You're like, please don't get pulled over. Please don't get pulled over <laughs> because I mean, guns will be drawn and <laughs> you'll be thrown right in the pokey. <laughs> you'll don't be CSI thinking you came from a murder you. scene. Yeah. <laughs> Now tell me, what's the scariest thing that both of you have ever encountered in the water? Um, I think probably on this movie, because um, obviously we didn't have prehistoric piranhas, but um, we had uh, fully grown men, scuba divers, with um, fluorescent green gloves on, and they were um, their job was basically to kind of grab me and pinch me and drag me under the water. So that's probably the, the most terrified I've been. I, I saw a shark once in the water. I was in the water. I was surfing. Um, I, it, there was a group of other people surfing too. Um, one crazy guy swam out closer to get a look, if you can believe this. But um, also, right after, I believe his name was, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, who was the crocodile hunter? Irwin. Uh, crocodile Dundee. Steve Irwin. Oh, Steve Irwin. Right yes. after Steve Irwin passed away from a stingray attack, I was swimming in the ocean and wearing. Um, goggles and I saw a stingray and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, it's going to kill me. But I mean, I wasn't interacting with it at all, but I mean, I guess those stories really weren't good. I'm sorry, I'm ashamed now. 
So, so have either of you scuba dived? Do anything like that? Snorkeling? Yeah, I have. I scuba dived once, and I was so claustrophobic. I didn't like it. I like snorkeling. I prefer snorkeling. Didn't you have to breathe through breathing apparatus through in um, this film and everything? Yes, I did. Yeah, but that's that's a different thing because you're still you haven't got all the equipment on because they're filming you, so you're free in the water, and then you just have to learn to breathe through the apparatus. So they kind of hand it to you. But actually, scuba diving on a holiday where you're in the wetsuit and you've got the tank and that—that that for me, I get so claustrophobic. That's—I don't like that. I like being—I like being a bit freer in the water. Kelly trained for months for months all of her underwater years. choreography and stunts in Piranha 3D. Great. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Have thank a great you. day. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.